Hello everyone, my name is Wei Wei. I'm a PhD student, work with Professor Lombardi at Northeastern University. My research area is focused on low power and hardly memory circuit design. Today I will present this research. It's about a novel scheme for tolerating single event multiple bit upstairs in non-volatile memories. So this research work is based on our previous one. That one is uh, dealing with the memory circuit design for the low power savings as also hardening design. So that case, uh, we try to use the resist run technique. That one will have a very low power dissipation during the operations and it supports the non-volatile storage. So in that case, we have proposed a one uh, 91R non-volatile SRAM. That one can uh, save the power dissipations during the standby mode, and we also propose the Eastern On operation scheme. Um, furthermore, we also propose two hardening design dealing with the non-volatile SRAM. So that one can improve the robustness to the soft errors. The soft errors we usually, usually dealing with the single event upset in that case and we characterize the performance using the critical chart. So in this design, we try to take advantage of the error correction coding and the detection codings because they have been successfully applied in previous memory scheme design for the error correction. So traditionally, if the N error happens in memory cells, they can be first successfully detected by the error detection block and also transfer one signal output to the error correction block. And then using with error correction block, it can successfully write back a correction information and give a good answers to the memory cell. But actually, we take advantage of our previous design for the non-volatile SRAM because they have the resistor RAM. The information has been successful storing the non-volatile storage component and we only require the error detection block. Take the advantage of the proposed non-volatile as run previously, we can successfully restore the correct information back from the resist RAM stored in the memory cell. So our proposed memory scheme has save the detection timings and we achieve the by a very simple restore operations. That is the first point and the first advantage we get it from our design. The second one, we have can successfully detect and correct more errors at a very reduced number of transistors in our system. They have been successful demonstrated by our extensive simulations. Thank you. Thank you for your timing and attention.